Now this is interesting, just in front of us, a tunnel. I remember as a kid, I used to love tunnels when the train went through them. So now we're actually getting to walk through them. And uh, yeah, this is cool. There's lights lit up on either side, just to help you so you don't trip over anything, I guess. And water dropping from the roof. I don't know if you can hear me echoing, but it looks as if it's going on for another three or 400 meters at least. And if it wasn't for the lights on either end, you definitely wouldn't see me here in the dark. And I must say that you can hear the water dropping through the ceiling all around us. Uh, some just dropped on my head then, but uh, it's all part of the experience anyway. It's so cool in here. And looks like uh, the tunnel extends for maybe another couple of hundred meters. And looks like a bit of construction going on just here. Oh. We'll get there. <laughs> and there you have a better view of the light structures of the tunnel, just to help you through. And there you go, looking all the way back to where I was just a few moments ago. And we're coming to the end of the tunnel at long last. Ah, it's getting brighter. Let there be light. <laughs> reached uh, this part of the journey's end of the Waterford Greenway along the Copper Coast and it's actually in fact the viaduct which I actually drove past it a little bit earlier I could see it from the road and I was trying to work out how to get to it but uh, it's Google Maps this time you're a saviour so uh, let's check out the views on either side that's it we're in the golden hour now and we're looking towards the sunset will be over there that's to my right and now, to my left, you can just see woodland and shrubbery. And I think there's a, I think there's a stream or a river just down below. I can hear the noise of it anyway. So, and there's a, a bridge just uh, where the main road goes across there. So, okay, so we're walking to the end of the viaduct now, and you guessed it, some aerial footage coming up in a moment. Couldn't have picked a warmer day than this. We're at the end of May. It's the last Sunday and we're at Clonny Strand Beach. And uh, I've not been here for a very long time, so it's gonna look quite a bit different from what I'm used to, but I'll show it off to you. We've left the confines of uh, the Copper Coast Drive, but the beach is lovely enough. And I thought I'd show it you just before we end the vlog in Dungarvan. So have a look at this and uh, I believe it's earned a blue flag as well and it looks pretty clean too. Uh, looks good. I'm not complaining anyway. And there's plenty of people around. Uh, we're in the evening time now. It's after seven o'clock and they're still enjoying themselves here. Loads of kids on the beach, loads of families and that. And it's still quite warm as well. So uh, as you can see, um, I'm still in my t-shirt there. So, and uh, I do not feel nippy at all. So we're gonna just uh, take a walk down this beach and see what there is to see. Make the most of this whilst we can, because with it being island, who knows how long this uh, warm spell is going to last, eh? The surf's out for that young lady. And uh, you can see in the distance there, a bit of haze covering it. That's the Gale Talks area of County Waterford, just beyond Dungarvan. 
if you can spot that on the horizon. And after about a five to 10 minute walk, depending on your pace, we've reached the west end of Clonay Strand. And uh, just below, you'll see some rock pools. And I grew up around Chester and it was very rare that I'd come across rock pools. So when I came to Ireland, it was like a, I was a child again, because the beaches I'd go to would be real in North Wales and Blackpool, they were the nearest ones, and maybe West Kirby. We'll have a look at these here. And I still can't believe there's quite a large amount of people around as well. So here are the, the rock formations. I don't think there's many pools around because of the tide at the moment, but just there in the distance, that's the castle end where we started this vlog here at Clonay Strand. And even uh, looking the other way, heading west along the beach, there's even more of those uh, rock formations. So plenty more chances for rock pools if you're patient with the tide. I've not been here for a very long time, so it's gonna look quite a bit different from what I'm used to, but I'll show it off to you.